Hey, friends, we're back here again. Another video for you guys. Now, if you guys don't know about this, now this got announced a couple of days ago. I think I, I think it was actually last week. If you guys don't know about this, <clears throat> the one show the, that was made, I believe, by Stars, Ash vs. Evil Dead, has been canceled. I don't know the exact reasons behind it. I'm not really like I actually did read about it, but I cannot remember now. Of course, this show began in 2015, where we got Bruce Campbell, or I, I say I say Campbell, Campbell, whatever. But the point is, they brought him back to uh, to portray Ash Williams. And before I get into that, let me just say yes, I've seen the Evil Dead movies. I saw Army of Darkness, and I even saw the remake of Evil Dead, which I actually liked, but I do prefer the original. And Ash Williams just is just one of my favorite fictional characters ever. And Bruce Campbell just really captures the character you know um he's definitely just one of my favorites and he's always and most of that mostly I would say comes from Bruce Campbell you know he really he just portrays the character so good and because you know he's he's a very com you could tell that he's very passionate about his role and um he's very and he's very charismatic and all in all he just really portrayed the character just awesome and the show is is just amazing now oh, now of course the show came out 2015 and i forgot when the second season came out but it was of course it was recently i think around this year where we got uh season three and it just really it really sucks you know it really, it really sucks that because i was actually hoping that maybe the show could have went on for like maybe at least five seasons you know that would have been great now in terms of whether i'm happy disappointed what you're probably gonna ask me like do i think it was is it was a good idea to end it this soon honestly for me it would be yes and no let me explain why yes because if the show would have dragged out or maybe not dragged out but if, if, it, if it would have went on a little longer i feel like maybe just maybe it would have been one, one of those shows that starts off great and then just deteriorates I, let me give you one of the best examples. You guys remember Arrow, right? The first two seasons were highly praised by so many fans. So many people endured the first two seasons. I cannot, like seriously, I cannot express how many people called it a great show after the first two seasons. However, when the third season rolled around, that's when everything went downhill. Everybody bashed it, saying that it was horrible, etc., etc. And the icing on the cake was, of course, in season four when they killed off the black canary that was just that was really what set people off i re i remember to this day um and the same thing with the flash again two seasons were great then the third one just deteriorated um uh, but of course the best example that i think i come up with is the walking dead when you look at the walking dead the show started off great it had just everything that the fans wanted i would say mostly around season i would say around maybe five or six is when the show really deteriorated, at least to most people. I mean, think about it. The rating, the ratings are extremely low, and people and people are just not happy about it. You know, people are clearly not happy. Uh, so people are just not happy with the show. You know, uh, the ratings have been going down. The viewership has been going down. It's losing fans. So that, but that's why I'm somewhat glad that it kind of did end off like this. Because if it would have, if it would have went on longer, who knows? May maybe it would have been great. But but see, then the, on the other hand, that that's why part of me doesn't didn't want it to end because again. It would have been nice to see. I, me, me personally, I think it should have went on for at least five seasons. That's what I honestly think. Sally just was. It just. It just wasn't meant to be. It just. It just sucks, you know. And and when it comes to like I guess like good casting decisions in terms of uh, iconic characters, Bruce Campbell is so like I wouldn't say underrated, but he's never mentioned. When you look at uh, people again, when you look at great casting decisions for characters. You always hear the likes of like, you know, Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., Hugh Jackman, Christian Bale, you know, Michael Keaton, um, et cetera, et cetera. And that's fine because, you know, they deserve their, they, they all deserve their place. But what about actors outside of Marvel and DC? Like Ron Perlman, who played Hellboy. Um, and yeah, what about Bruce Campbell, who played that? Like, it, it's, it's just kind of sad how they're never mentioned. Or maybe they are mentioned, but just not as mentioned. And that, that, that sucks. Hell, same thing with Thomas Jane, who played the Punisher. He's, he's never talked about which is such a he's never talked about which is just a big shame it's a big shame the the punisher movie does not deserve a 20 percent on rotten tomatoes it doesn't it wasn't perfect but i liked it i definitely enjoyed that movie and it, it, it sucks and it, yeah it sucks that they had a planned sequel but it got canceled i don't know why he was in one of the best fan films ever with punisher dirty laundry that fan film was great it had him and it had ron Perlman. it had punisher and hellboy and it was awesome it was great 
I don't. I think John Berthold's good, you know, for the, like the new generation. I, I, I think I, I liked his performance. I didn't like how, sometimes his voice though. His voice was kind of annoying sometimes. But for the most part, um, I thought he was good. I thought he was a good Punisher. I thought he killed the role. But I'm just. But I, I personally uh, prefer Thomas Jane to be quite honest with you. But again, I do like John Berthold's Punisher too. That was really my only problem. Like again, the way he would talk, like his voice. But other than that, other than that though, he was fine. He he was fine as Punisher. Um, and I, I really enjoyed the Punisher show. I really did. I, I liked it. So yeah. Um, I'm, but I'm getting I'm getting off topic. But yeah. So I love the show. You know, and I love I love Ash Williams. He's always been one of my favorite fictional characters. And the show I thought was, it, it it was awesome. You know, it had like great storytelling. I thought. I love how they brought back, like how they, you know, he went back to the uh, to the cabin, and I on honestly, it, it and and they were very creative. I thought with like the monsters, like instead of just like those weird, like you know, well the, the normal, I guess demons, the typical demons. We also got like those um other creepy looking ones, uh, the ones that were like the the sons of that one girl. I forgot the girl's name. Um, but over, but all, all in all, though, it was a great show. I, I thought, and it really does suck to see it end with three seasons. I thought it could have went on longer, but. But if there's one good thing I can say about it is, you know, and I remember reading an article where, you know, Ash, uh, I mean, uh, Bruce pretty much thanked the fans and I, I think he even thanked Stars for, you know, giving him one less ride as Ash Williams. And yeah, I mean, th 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 that is true, you know, at least, you know, he, he got to play him one last time. It, you know, it was cool to see him come back as Ash one last time at least. Um, and he, he didn't lose a step either, like... If I'm being honest, he did not lose a single step. You know, um, he still he still got it. You know, he he definitely still got it. You know, it, it had been over what well, like I don't know like a decade or so since he played the character, and he still had it in him. He really did. You you could tell again. You could tell that he, he did not miss a step. He he definitely had it. He had what it took to to play his character uh, again, once again. And and even and yeah, I mean whether yeah whether it's the Evil Dead movies or this show, he's all he's he's Ash Williams. He literally is the character. And I don't think anyone's ever gonna replace him. It really does suck, you know. I really feel like again the show could have went on a lot longer. But but like that's the thing. Like after seeing the trailer for season three, after seeing that big monster, I was even thinking like, can they possibly top that? Well, I guess not. So yeah, guys. So I definitely am grateful that we did see him as Ash one last time. And again, I love the show. Like the amount of storytelling and the, the amount of violence in that show was just over the top. Like like and and like you know I I love I love watching rated R movies and shows sometimes. All the time but sometimes and that show definitely delivered uh with the action and the violence and yeah I, I i loved it i really loved it but but fun little fact though really quick despite the show coming out in 2015 i didn't even watch it until like late no like around the beginning of 2018 because i i explained this a couple of times before i usually wait for a show to be on netflix because i don't have these channels so i usually wait for it to be on netflix because i don't have all these channels so i usually wait for them to put a show on netflix but I really only do that with Walking Dead and this show now. Like, I just wait for them to put new seasons on. But yeah, it's a common thing that, that I've been doing forever, really. <sighs> so yeah, guys, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, yeah, I mean, but like I said, though, I mean, I'm definitely... Again, in one aspect, I wish it would have went on a little, a little longer. But again, on the other aspect, I could I could kind of accept it ending because again, if it would have went on for a lot longer, yes, it could have been great. But then again, what if it would have like what if what if it would have went downhill? Like that's what I'm afraid of because I don't like when shows I don't like that in general. Like I don't like when shows do that. It's like it starts off great, it's it's it starts off great, but then with one season, it just now to be fair. The Walking Dead went to the same thing, if you don't remember. The Walking Dead had the same problem. The first season was great, but then season two, it just went down, but then they came back. So I guess maybe that's the only example I got. But all in all, though, it, just, it, it does suck, though. But again, at least we got to see uh, Bruce as Ash one last time, at least. At least he was able to, he was able to attach that chainsaw to his fist one last, or to his arm one last time. Um, at, least, at least he was able to wield Boomstick one last time, you know, so. But yeah, so I was happy with it. I was definitely happy with the show. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a great show that I feel like it, it could have went on longer, you know, but I, I feel like this would, I feel like this would be the great time for NetherRealm to add in Ash Williams to like celebrate, I would say. Um, be, now that the show is ending, I, I feel like it would be great to like, you know, and, and cause like Ash Williams, you know, in I know I'm going off again topic, but Ash Williams is like been very requested when it comes to, or highly requested when it comes to a guest character in Mortal Kombat. And he's always been highly requested. So this would be a great way to, to bring in Ash into Mortal Kombat 11, you know, being able, I guess like, again, to like celebrate, uh, yeah. 
Uh, I really hope, I hope, I, I really do hope we see Ash. But but about that though, speaking of Mortal Kombat 11, I do have a video that I want to do. It's pretty much my thoughts on the guest characters that we that I want to see in Mortal Kombat 11. It, it's going to be a top 5 list. I wasn't going to do a top 10, but I will just do a top 5 because there's other really characters that have a great chance. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get that video up next week. I'm going to try to do it next week and hopefully upload it around sometime next week. We'll see because I really do want to do that video. So yeah guys, So but those are my thoughts on the on the Astros Evil Dead. I loved it. I thought it was great. Could it have could it have went on longer? Yes, I would have loved it uh, to go on longer, but and one aspect, and, but again, on the other hand, I could see, I could kind of see why they canceled it. Uh, I know they explained it, but I just can't remember. But yeah, but like I said, at least we got Ash again, again one last time. As I mean, we got Bruce as Ash one last time. I know I've been repetitive in this video, but yeah. And again, no one, no one, and I mean no one is ever gonna replace Bruce Campbell as Ash. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. So let me let me know your thoughts down below. What do you what do you guys think of this show ending? Do you like the show? All that good stuff. And stay tuned for this Sunday, by the way. This Sunday, you're going to have a review of Infinity War. I haven't seen the movie just yet, but tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to go watch it in theaters. And then on Sunday, I'll have a review. I'm still debating on if it's going to be a spoiler or not spoiler review. Because if I do a spoiler review, my that's going to have to be like 20-something minutes long. And you guys know that I don't like doing those type of long videos. Um, but if I do a non-spoiler review, it'll probably be like about maybe 13, 14, 15 minutes long. But we'll see uh, what I do. Hopefully it won't be that that long of a video. So I don't know. I'll, 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 still, I'll see if it'll be spoiler or non-spoiler. We'll see. But yeah, so that'll be this Sunday. So stay tuned for a review of Infinity War this Sunday. And stay tuned for whatever I have, for whatever else I have in store next week. Again, the Mortal Kombat 11 video. Top 5 guest characters I want to see. Alright, so yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. So let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, what do you think of the show being cancelled? Did you join? All that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below all right so be sure to click that notification make sure you like and subscribe until then reckless rich signing out